so uh, we are discussing an application where our objective is to show a data entry form and uh, our attempt will be to cover all the basic scenarios like check boxes radio buttons file upload control drop down lists and uh, for that we have already created a database containing relevant fields and uh, after creating the database our next step could be to add entity models to the project so this is the next step that we can undertake here and once we add them we can add further support to our project so this is a better starting point and one more thing if uh, somehow you make changes to the database later then you can always come back to the designer to update the model from database so we'll also tell that option as we go so uh, here we go adding entity models to the project so this is our project so far we have database here and uh, nothing else has been added to it except the default ones that are added by default uh, by the visual studio uh, although you could right click directly here to add entity framework support but uh, we'll go by creating another folder here add new folder and we'll call it entity models and now we'll right click this folder add new item pick data adio.net entity data model and give it a name we give mod registration and then you can click add and in this next one we can select uh, generate from database because we already have the database with us and click next from here you can pick the name of your database and you can have a look at the connection string appearing here uh, so although in this particular case we are demonstrating this for a uh, SQL Server compact edition but uh, if you can see this connection string here uh, this this whole thing will actually appear in your web.config and there you will find a line called connection string is equal to so you can always uh, make changes to these parameters for accommodating a SQL Server database you just have to change this provider you just have to add password user ID whatever you want to add here for that particular database uh, so uh, working with the SQL Server CE actually helps you get a lightweight project here and uh, of course you always have a possibility of going back making these changes because there are no other syntax changes between uh, SQL Server CE and uh, SQL Server full database version the same queries will operate we have hardly seen any changes that require to be done at the coding level so altering just this one will um, suit this project for a SQL Server edition also then we have a uh, save connection settings in web.config as DB registration entities so you will find this story listed under this section of your web.config okay uh, then we can click next and it is retrieving our tables from the database and we'll tick mark all of them so as usual it will ask us whether to pluralize or singularize names yes we'll want pluralization because it makes it more readable so it will generally add s to the collections for example anywhere it encounters a collection it will say tbl registrations tbl qualifications bases it will pluralize and i'll show you in the next one where it actually does it 
so that's only a naming nothing else include foreign key columns in the model yes we would like to include the foreign key columns in the model and uh, model namespace is db registration model so our model will be created inside this namespace and uh, we can use this one to access our object as we can see later on so click finish uh, you'll see something like this and uh, depending on your uh, computer you might receive a couple of warnings here security warnings and all and if you receive them you can tick mark them say yes okay anyhow so this is the one that it has created for us here if you look this is pluralization I was talking there TBL registrations so if you want uh, this is TBL qualification base so this is the table that contains a list of all the qualifications along with their code and uh, this is the parent table for this TBL registration contains a foreign key from qualification code so if you want to know uh, all the records in this where qualification code is uh, say M then you can access it with the TBL registrations S and uh, so this is what pluralization has been done here and we'll continue to see this one as we go uh, to access a collection of uh, uh, records so we'll always see that S there and uh, another thing here is that if uh, you find that later on some changes to database have occurred and you would like this one to be updated then you always have an option of right clicking here and you have this option update model from database and you can then uh, follow the steps that will appear fairly simple steps and it will automatically update this model from the database so no worries about that so control s and immediately I close it I always close it early so that uh, there is no possibility of committing any mistake because sometimes we tend to uh, overwrite or delete something or do something then this whole thing gets disturbed close it so if I come to my uh, solution explorer I'll find inside my entity models folder this EDMX and uh, certain C-sharp code is there so uh, this is the one that uh, we have already generated and whenever we need we'll uh, make use of uh, this entity framework uh, classes from here to query our database so in the next step we'll add validations so thanks for the lecture.